So in this week's CBDNN, Botswana license goes up in smoke and dabs for Dumbo. Dabs for Dumbo. <laughs> I know, dude. So uh, basically what happened is some dude got a license in Botswana. And it was signed by the minister of whatever. And he got this a year or two ago. And they, South African, eh? South African guy. Okay. And they pumped money into their grow there and got going. And a couple of weeks ago, the cops rocked up and pulled it all out. 90,000 90, euros worth of seeds. Ooh. Oh, loan was invested. Not counting the work. I hate to. Ooh. That's, that, that's got to hurt. I mean, but I mean, you know, is it legal? Does he so have legal So, so it's the same sort of thing. It's the, he says, she says. It's, it's the, the, the big farmer, the guys with the big money getting the license, mm -hmm. being allowed to yeah. grow and do their thing, yet there's because still no solid uh, foundation for the everyday person to smoke or to grow or to do yeah. anything. So And it probably wasn't a, a, a person from the corner. <coughs> the, minister, the, the minister whose department issued the allowance or the permit or the license or the call it what you, whatever you want yeah. uh, he says he was not aware that it was issued so after he left office he uh, he wasn't in the position anymore so the department just said well you know they didn't know about it so they withdrew it but it also seems like the official that was involved with the knocks that did the raid was one of the people that was involved with the issuing of the allowance or the permit. Two planes so both sides. very strange. Uh, I, I don't quite understand. So it's uh, 90,000 euro but loss. The moment I see the word license, it just smells like corruption. So I'm not surprised this happened. I mean, so maybe 9,000 euros. 90. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody yeah, should be allowed to grow and sell socialism. No, but check what they wanted but to see, do was make 5,000 liters of hemp oil a month, bro. They aim. Yeah, that's what they wanted to do was make hemp oil. So I can't oh, read that so screen. Five thousand yeah. liters is like five tons of hemp oil a month. Yeah, well, at yeah, least. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Five thousand liters of hemp oil. That's what they wanted to do. That's ten tons. Yeah. But depending on what oil, seed oil, crushed seed oil, what do they want to make? Just it's a lot of oil, bro. It's oil, so it's probably seed oil. It's probably genetically engineered seed. They planted thirty right? different cannabis sativa seeds in order to assess which strain. Hemp oil for Woolworths. Seeds costing ninety thousand oh. euro. That I can imagine, bro. There's guys selling certified clones for a thousand dollars a pop. And it's not like they're gonna take so your 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 seedlings and put them into like holding until you sort it all out. They don't can look after it. So literally, mm. they're gonna throw them in the bin right there and then. You've lost it all. Police God. uprooted and took them. They uprooted yeah, and took them. But this oak says he's gonna sue. Yeah. Says he's going I because know. what I'm seeing now. Because we're gonna speak to the Hayes Club about this as well. What's interesting is now that people are getting skin in the game. And they and they and, and something's being taken away from them by the police. We're yeah. used to it. The police yeah, come, yes, they take yes, our yes, human yes. right yes. every time. But now people are stuff's been taken away. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Schindlers. So they're busting the legal yeah. grows. So which grows legal? You see, the license means nothing. No, you see, what happened here was apparently he got special permission. There was no special permission. Yeah, exactly. That's, I think when they yes. call it special, special permission, permission. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but also so, that's that's the thing because when you're playing in a game when there's only one of a thing, you probably when, when you the special permission yeah, payment. When you trip and stumble chasing unicorns, don't come crying. Yeah. yeah. Because when there's only when you when you when it's too good to be true and you've got the only one of a thing, which you shouldn't be this hard to get. You've got to be like. How, how, it's like that, that Bible thing, building your house on the yeah. sand. These oaks are mm -hmm. building a house on sand. Yeah, on glitter. On using glitter. Plastic. Using plastic and building yeah. on sand. Yeah, dude. Yeah. But then in the same breath, another story about Botswana says that there's now pressure to, to start allowing this sort of thing, mm -hmm. to let the cannabis industry emerge. Because they say in Botswana, they have tried to kickstart other agricultural industries. Mm. So, and it's been a failure, a lot of them. Why even try with weed if others have been a failure? And they're saying, if we do it soon enough, it'll be economically worth it. We'll, be, we'll get a head start. Mm. But if we wait, it'll never be viable. But I mean, if they're saying everything else has failed, why is it all failing? Planting season, they need Dude, to make their Botswana, minds up now. everyone, we Botswana's all have our own jam. Don't they should be able to... Plant yeah. all year round, every day. Yeah, no yeah. There's other things winter. These wonderful plants. There you're just pulling tops, essentially. Yeah. yeah. I wonder why. But it's again, this is cannabis we're talking about. It's not vegetables and it's not crops. It's different days. Yeah. So if they're saying they're failing at crops, then 
Maybe there's just something wrong in the labor force. Maybe there's something wrong with... Maybe they need to revamp the Department of Agriculture. Because hmm. the, the, the term they use here a lot is cash crop, cash crop, 50 pages, cash crop. Yep, cash crop, mm. cash crop, cash crop. You know, but it's also, it's not just about planting it. There's a, we know there's a lot more to it. Mm. No, what do you mean? No, like that's the knuckle. Because those flowers know. in that picture I'm gonna not going to give you a cash crop. Mm. Can I grab a grinder and some huh. knuckle there, dude? <laughs> GMO crops there. Yeah, so Botswana is going through some heavy vibes. But then on a lighter note, Joe sent through a story about some elephant in a zoo getting CBD. Yeah, did you just read it or did you just send it? I did, no, I did. It was um, what happened is one of the um, it's an elephant family that live in a zoo. Um, and one of the, I think it was the matriarch passed away. And one of the younger ones was very depressed. And so they decided to treat it with CBD, and it's been working. But how? Drops. But like, is it, is, the, is it doing low temp dabs? What's the no, no, elephant no, I mean, doing? They've, they've, I think they've obviously got CBD oil infused in uh, a, a carrier oil of, of sorts. Yeah. yeah. And they may be giving it orally, I don't know. The thing is, this anyway, it gets into the, like it's the easiest it's thing to get into the body, into the mucous membrane. Just put like, it here, calm yeah, it up and down. Zoos, there's depressed animals. They animals. should all be on a daily right. regimen no, of cannabis like, right, for zoo animals. All of them should be the zoo, zoo. Yes. as yeah, fuck. Yeah. All yeah. zoo animals should be yeah. high as fuck all day long. No, the animals cage. shouldn't be in a zoo. They well, I agree with you. I totally yeah. agree with you. No, it's the like ones that are there should be given <laughs> the best tag. Like, you know, high quality RSO, let them live their lives. No, no, what should happen is that they should just grow the weed in the non-zoo property in every enclosure. Then they've all got a fresh weed to play with. So well, you're saying the, the animal has the right to have a privacy with his own privacy. So it's okay that they're in cages, but okay, then somewhere else. It's a private yeah. space. No no, no, I was going to say, private, there we go. That's what I'm trying to get at. Is there, but they're in private space, space. let him grow his own weed. Yeah. <laughs> and I bet an elephant could roll big fucking joints. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we can use the dung to... <laughs> Imagine you put an elephant one. that could blaze. Imagine how big a joint you could stuck down its fucking trunk. Trunk bong. Trunk bongs. Trunk dabs. I would totally trunk dab. Like you could attach a nectar collector to its trunk. You teach, you teach it to do the lung for you. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're right. A, a Nectar bucket. Collected a bucket. Trunk. Yeah, yeah. You teach it. You teach it. Yeah. Hey. Stoner elephants with metal trunk tips. Oh, they'll pick it up if you do it. And then you let them have their art classes where they've got pianos Thanks. and oh painting God. and. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Art of the park. I could just see the elephant standing there all proud with its plants growing lacquer and a sign there saying, fuck off, these are my emotional support plants. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, kudos to this place for even, uh, you know, thinking out of the box on this one and, and thinking of giving some cannabinoid-based therapy like to the plant. <laughs> well, there's the question. Good question. Because well, there you go. Well, well, let's, <laughs> let's, yeah, let's ask the question because someone's moaned before that we all mumble over each other. Look, oh, we can What's the question? Mathematics. How much CBD would you need for an elephant? Seriously. Because okay. I've, seen, I've seen horse treatments and people working with animals like that. And they also need fairly high doses. A liter. A liter it like, of this Isn't it like 0. 0.2 grams? Or, you know, what would it be like? like it's, it's quite, let's call it 100 milligrams. To play it That's a tenth of a gram. That's a tenth of a gram. So that's 0. 0.1 grams for a 80 kg person. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that'll give yeah, me yeah, okay. Whatever. Just a bit it'll of me okay. medicinal Time. relief. Decos. So De whatever, decos. Yeah. 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 That's 80 kg. So if you times that by 10, that's 800 kg. 20 years. So and let's put it times it by twenty. Times it by twenty. Let's yeah, call it's it. A ton, bro. It's a ton. So then that makes it. A fucking ton of animal. Yeah. So oh. ton. Two. <laughs> but that's like still small. Twenty right? grams. No, it's not. Two grams. Two grams. Okay. It's only two grams no, of oil that you're going to uh, give an elephant. Two grams. Yes. Sir, and that will. I mean, if that's right, guys, we're not <laughs> doctors. <laughs> Listen, we're not doctors. <laughs> this is our opinion of what <laughs> we are saying. Do you know what I'm trying to do? Let me know. Yes. Let me know. Some oil. So, just so, uh, no, safe. definitely try it at home. Oh. Fucking try it. No. <laughs> if you have an elephant, if you're so an mills, <laughs> So, public service announcement, announcement. If you low key Joe Exotic there sitting with your fucking elephant watching this show, <laughs> stop cutting the distillate up into lines for a Christian or half, firstly. And lower the dose. No, we don't know. But that is a vaguely weird question. <laughs> Two grams of 70% oil. I mean, it's a lot of cannabinoids. 
Yeah. yeah. So, so, as far as I, I know, it's, it's just CBD. Um, sure, that's it in the article. Giving, so so yeah. It's just to, to lower the anxiety, and apparently it's worked, and it's been tested. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the two mils of oil? <coughs> two mils, yeah. No, two you mils. take two mils? Are oh, you joking? <laughs> yeah, that's a big banger, bro. Yes, we should try it one night. No, we'll try it one night at 7 o'clock. We'll take two mils, each of us. So and we'll see who lasts till the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, let me tell you, come sit on Uncle Buzz's knee, let me tell you the story <coughs> of Daddy the Elephant. So uh, this year has been a difficult time for Fritzia, a young female African elephant at Warsaw Zoo in the Polish capital. The zoo's four ele elephants became three in March, following the death of Erna, the largest female and elder of the herd. Erna's death left Fritza mourning and put, put her under stress, so zookeepers noticed an immediate change in her behavior, and she attempted to make sense of life without Erna. Uh, she reacted strangely and so on, but since then zookeepers say Fritza has displayed signs of stress. Uh, this has therefore been a huge game changer in every elephant group. Elephants might have behavioral problems in the structures of a group change. So they're saying, when an elephant passes away, it's a <coughs> big deal. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's the, that saying, the One memory of an elephant? Four. Yeah. The yeah. elephant never forgets. So they say the zoo's elephants will be the first animals to be given the CBD oil as they are prone to stress and at the same time uh, relatively easy to monitor. Uh, so they're saying that they're so, they're so developed that you can notice their increasing behavior very quickly. Uh, given her recent behavior, uh, it is thought to be the ideal candidate for the study. So they don't really say how much they're going to give it, though. How they going to uh, Wait, it? wait. They say the CBD oil will be administered directly to the elephant's mouth oh, or mixed in with their this. food. Their health will be regularly checked through blood tests. Good. Sugar, yeah? So they say there's no THC in it. Oh, it's wow. just CBD. No, man. Get that thing high. And you're like, the, the, elephant, the, the elephant's probably jiving there. It's like, keep playing it sad. <laughs> I'm playing it sad. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna give me the dank. They're gonna give me the dank. And then ski look at CBD. It's gonna be cuck story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the tribe like, dudes, drop your bottom lip yeah. quick, quick. It's nice stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it is interesting because do you know what? Why fucking not, eh? What's the yeah. elephant? Let's be real. What does that elephant you have try to your lose? Ganja. Fuck that. Huh? Yeah. This is, you'll try your gun. <laughs> if you find your field, it's over. So clearly they like, so clearly they right. enjoy it. You know, animals yeah. do enjoy eating yeah, raw cannabis. Well. So, yeah. Emil has done the calculations. Great, Emil, thank you. African yeah. elephants is approximately <laughs> 6,000 kilos. If we dose 20 milligrams at 60 kilos, then it's 2,000 milligrams, so 2 grams to dose the elephant. Spot on! Spot on! According to a 20 milligram CBD daily human dose, a <laughs> milligram will be a 10,000 milligram 10 gram dose. There we go. Yeah. Dan gets the Mathematics, mathematics Award. And you know, we started off the show saying we weren't even going to do Mathematics tonight. No, Damn it. We can always, <laughs> always do Mathematics. Back, Thank you, dude. High five, Emil. <laughs> uh,